What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have a super cool boot review for you guys today. It is from the World Cup Pack from Adidas. All right, so I am talking about the Copa Sense Plus, which I'm super excited about. The colors on this look so cool. Story behind why they've decided to do the rainbow pattern is also amazing. Um, but we'll get into all those plus some tech specs of these. And then these boots are actually going to be the boots that I use for my one month review. So I'm going to be wearing them starting today and I'll wear them for really hard for about a month. And then I'll let you guys know what I think of the Copa Sense Plus after properly playing in them, use them for everything in training. Obviously we're in off season now, so that's going to change a little bit of the environment that I'm training in, but I'll still get a really great feel for what the Copa Sense Plus are like. So let's hop into the unboxing really quick. So Copa Sense Plus is a pretty basic box here. Um, it's got the same kind of really cool pattern that you see from actually the upper, which we'll get into in a minute. Copa Sense logoing here on the top. It is a drawer style box, so you do have that opening here. This is in my normal size nine US. This is a UK 8.5, which keep in mind, that is the difference in the Adidas sizing based on uh, the Adidas sizing in the UK is for US size, a half size up if that makes sense. So I'm a nine US across the board and I wear in Adidas a UK eight and a, and a Nike UK, sorry, Nike UK eight, Adidas UK 8.5. And then there's a couple other brands that have different numbering systems as well. So that's something to keep in mind if you are looking for boots that only have UK sizing, just be aware of the brand difference in those types of things, right? So pretty basic. Here, some really cool graphics, and these are actually, like you can feel them, so it's a little bit tactile, which I actually really like. Nice touch from Adidas there. Um, same on that side, and then same on that side as well. So as far as the box goes, it's actually a pretty simple box construction. It's just got some really nice tactile feel to it, and I think that's such a cool addition from Adidas. I think that they've done a great job at making it um, a little bit unique, which is awesome, and really minimalist logoing, which is also super cool. So. Very excited to see what these look like. Let's do the unboxing. All right, here we go. So we'll open it up this way and we get a little bit of paperwork, which we'll throw away, open it up here. And really quick, before I undo this, they've got a really cool graphic there and the same graphic on this other side here, which I think is so sick. They've done such a cool job with this boot. And that's sort of the, the initial drawings of that Copa Sense with the Sense pods here on the outside and then that crazy wave heel liner, which we'll talk about, or external heel counter, excuse me. All right, here we go. Ooh, right on. Okay, there's what those boots look like coming out of the box. Oh my days, ladies and gentlemen. I freaking love the look of these. I think these are so cool. The sole plate, how it mirrors the way that the colors on the upper kind of ombre from this blue kind of purpley color into the pink orange into the neon yellow. I think that's so sick. These are awesome looking. I think these and the Preds from this pack look the best. I think the uh, X Speed portals that are like that, like almost this color blue, like a sky blue turquoise color. I don't think they look very good if I'm honest, but these look incredible. So let's get these out of the box really quick and I'll show you guys what's in. So you got the other one as well, which is cool. And then per usual, the plus string bags come with, that's so sick, rainbow copa and nothing on the back. I think this is one of the coolest bags you get with that rainbow, like ombre rainbow copa. This is super cool. I really like what Adidas has done here with this pack. All right, so we'll put the box on the ground. Um, we'll get some of the paper out as well because I just want to make sure I can show you what the uh, what some of the inside and softness looks like right away. So I have reviewed two different Copas before. I've reviewed the launch colorway, which was black and gold, and then I've also reviewed the white with different color, like multicolor little spots on them. You guys will see them here in the corners as well. Um, but yeah, this is such a cool looking boot. I think this silhouette looks really, really nice. It's an awesome looking boot. You've got the three stripes, which is a different construction down here in the forefoot area and then mirrored 
right there in those three areas, which I think is super, super cool. Nothing has changed about the Copa Sense Plus. So maybe what we'll do first is go over colorway and then we'll talk about some tech specs really quick. Um, nothing's changed since those older reviews, but I just wanted to make sure this, uh, for those of you who are coming to this review as a first time viewer of my channel, obviously you know what the Copa Sense Plus is. So again, colorway for me, this is a really sick colorway. I think this colorway easily hits like 8.5 out of 10. It's not, a ma it's not the perfect color, but I think they've done such a cool job with this boot having all of the rainbow colors, the Copa logo right there in a blue with um, underlaid over like a pink color. I don't know, hopefully you can kind of see, there you go, kind of see that. Um, they've got the neon yellow suede heel liner and the, the liner on the inside, the uh, insole is actually a blue color. So we'll actually pull that out just so I can talk about it in a little bit, but really cool kind of chevron style logoing here, some like diamond, almost like uh, icicle type shapes here on the uh, bottom side. And then you've got that icicle shape almost, or that triangle, or excuse me, um, quadrilateral stuff on this side. It is super cool. I really think this colorway is awesome. It'll really stand out on the pitch, especially with certain color kits. Um, an all black kit with this would look super cool. You'll actually, because of what I'm wearing right now, you'll get a sense of what it, haha, <laughs> sense. <clears throat> that was planned. So you'll get a sense of what these are like on feet with a black kit, which I think is so cool. Um, yeah, okay, so let's hop into some tech specs really quick about this boot. We'll talk about the heel or the uh, internal liner really quick. It is a suede material, so it's um, completely suede from here. You've got a little groove across the top there, which you can see for kind of where the, the knuckle of your toes is. And so ideally that's kind of where you would have just a little bit of grip in case when you're turning and stuff, when you kind of clamp your feet down and you really dig in with your toes, um, this is really not going to make that much of a difference, but it's there anyway. And then you've got a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a kind of a circle dent here, almost like a little, I don't know what you would call it, little crater, I guess, right in the base. So it's a pretty standard sole plate, there's, or sole plate, uh, pretty standard insole. There's nothing really to write home about, but it is suede, which means it will do really well with grip socks, at least in, uh, in previous version or previous colorways of this that I've reviewed. It's done really well with grip socks inside. Um, I'm going to be reviewing them on feet with non-grip socks, but you guys will get a chance to see that in the one month review as well. I'll talk a little bit about that. So this is a fusion skin upper um, in the rear in the heel area all the way up until about right where the knuckle of your toe start and then it's a kangaroo leather upper from there forward. It is a pretty soft pair of boots. They do have quite a bit of uh, plushness to them with some of the sense pods. You've got a big sense pod here. You've got a big sense pod on the outside here and then you've got some in the uh, the heel liner as well. These like these pods, which I think they've actually improved a little bit. I know the original version of this was super uncomfortable, but they've actually just made this like a soft suede now. So I think as the Sense Plus, and here's a great thing for boot reviewers, uh, or not boot reviewers, for football boot companies. You know how Puma did 1.1 and 1.2 and then did 1.3, 1.4? 1.1 and 1.2 were the tiniest differences between the boots. Same with 1.3 and 1.4. They're basically those two, like one, one and two and three and four are basically the same pair of boots, but they changed the name. For these, they've changed super tiny minor things over the course of the production cycle of this boot. I've actually seen release of some of what the new Copa, I think it's going to be called Copa Pure or something like that which is gonna be the new version of this coming out in 2023. It's like the next generation of the Laceless Copa. Um, they're moving away from kangaroo leather, I think, for production reasons and uh, ethical issues, or ethical reasons, I guess, which, hey, do your thing. As long as it's a good pair of boots, I'm, I'm down. Whatever you gotta do. It is a bummer because you're moving away from that kangaroo, traditional kangaroo leather upper, um, but either way, it's gonna be a super, super cool uh, boot to begin with, but you only get a tiny bit of kangaroo leather upper. There is a seam, which hopefully I can point out. So the seam, it'll just follow my finger. It goes from here all the way forward there, 
and then around. And the only part that's kangaroo leather upper is just that four foot part, which does kind of move a little bit away from the tradition of what the Copa is. You got a lot more leather on the 20.1 and the 19.1s, but I think these are still a super cool boot. Um, again, that synthetic fusion fit, or excuse me, fusion skin upper, and then you've got like a layer of silicone that goes over it just to kind of give it a little bit of water resistance and also some, uh, a, a little bit of anti-stretch, if you will, because this boot will stretch a little bit for most foot types. It is pretty wide, which is kind of cool. Um, I do think I'm going true to size with my 9 US. We'll see how these fit and feel over the course of the next month or so, breaking these in and really testing them. I am curious to know how it's going to fit being a laceless model. The lacing system is a little bit unique for uh, laceless boots. A lot of times you'll just get this little bit right here where it's an exposed knit material, but they've put little exposed pieces all across, hopefully you can see that, um, all across this upper in little slits almost. And what my guess is, is that just adds a tiny bit more stretch in that area so that when you put your foot in, it does kind of lock it in place as best it can be for a laceless leather boot. Um, and uh, yeah. The heel liner in here, do, or the external heel counter does come a little bit high on both sides. My guess is that's to just provide a little bit of extra lateral support. Being a laceless boot, you want it to be uh, as supportive as possible, especially in those pivot moments, because those pivot moments when you're turning really sharp or you dig the studs in and you have to push off, those are the moments when a laceless boot, really you can tell it's laceless because you get a lot of slippage. There are only I think there's only one boot on the entire market right now, in my opinion, that does a good job of locking it in. Um, and that's after testing. You guys will see the one month review probably before this review even comes out. But the Tequila version four, the new one, is exceptional at lockdown, and that, which is crazy. They've done some wizardry there with that boot, and it just fits my foot really well. It might not fit yours. You might have slippage, but for me, that boot has almost zero lockdown for a laceless boot, which is pretty insane. Um, I did get a I did get a 9 US, which fits like perfectly snug, so it did take some time to break in. But I'm hoping for these ones because they're so plush, and I love just like a comfortable leather boot to train in because they're great for pinging, great for um, touch on the ball, really easy striking surface. I'm hopeful that these boots will be awesome. So without further ado, let's hop into the on feet portion of the video where we can discuss sizing, if there's any hot spots right away or over the course of that time that I'm filming, what these sense pods really feel like, and then of course, what they look like on feet because I am super stoked to see what those, um, what these boots look like. And we'll discuss a little bit more on the traction as well. Obviously I can talk about it all day, but it's the same uh, sole plate that's been on the rest of the Copa Sense Pluses. So we'll talk a little bit about how it goes on AG pitches as well, being indoor, and then also what it could be uh, great for on FG pitches as well. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the indoor facility here in Rochester. So I've got the Copa Sense Plus in this beautiful Aurela, Aurela, Aurela pack. And I know I didn't say that beforehand, but I don't know how to pronounce that. So if you phonetically know how to spell it, put it down in the comment section below. Let's hop straight into the uh, on feet portion. I'm really excited to try these on and to get a sense of what they look like. Haha, <laughs> got you again, sense. All right, here we go. So let's jump down here again beautiful pair of football boots, really soft in the forefoot. I really like how cushiony that is. Um, for those who are asking what kind of tennis shoes these are, I bought these for $50 at a outlet for a New Balance outlet down in California when we were over there. So uh, I'm not actually sure what they're called. They're foam something probably. I don't know. Anyway. All right, here we go. Copa Sense Plus. These are non-grip socks. So just keep that in mind as I talk about sort of the fit and feel. We're going to get foot kind of slid in here. These take a little bit, definitely a little bit more time than the normal boot oh, to slide into. Holy moly. Okay. So it's pretty tight right out of the box, but it feels good. It's like a good amount of tight. So that's what they look like on feet. Let's get the other one on as well. I'm definitely feeling a bit of pinch in the midfoot area, but that's to be expected from a laceless boot that, um, just a laceless boot in general, to be honest, especially for my foot type. Holy hell. 
this one is. Ugh. There we go. Wow, that was a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, um, there you go. So on feet, this is what the World Cup Pack Copas look like. And I will, t I will say with, if you imagine these are tights obviously, but if this was a black sock and you wore a white underneath, I think it would look so sick. That's what they look like on feet. Really, really nice colors. I love how much those neon colors pop off of the black in that under, in that like black leather. I think they look sick. I think if you were to put white underneath as well, those would look awesome too. So really, really cool. That's the sole plate as well. You got that really cool ombre pattern with the three stripes on the bottom and just an overall really nice fitting pair of football boots. I am feeling a little bit of hot spot right here on the edge, um, right on the outside, but that's to be expected for this type of boot, especially with um, a leather forefoot that's gonna stretch a little bit. So that's what they look like on feet. Super, super nice. I really like the sole plate. It is very, it's pretty basic to be honest, um, but I'm feeling no hot spots in the heel. I know that was something that I noticed in the first generation of this boot where those sense pods around the Achilles tendon were really kind of uncomfortable. Um, these actually don't have that as much. So I think these are awesome. I think the heel actually fits really well for my heel. Uh, for you, it might be a little bit different, but I do think these fit very, very well. Touch on the ball. I've got a ball and a little board here. Um, touch on the ball is super nice. Very seamless. Really padded. It definitely gives me a little bit of uh, not on the top of the boot where the laces are, but especially in that forefoot area, gives me a little bit of padded like Tiempo vibes almost. It's a pretty similar feel to that, at least in my opinion. The new Tiempo 9 Elite is a little bit more uh, padded because of those little pods that they put in their boot that are like the Nike version of Sense pods, basically. Um, but these are super comfortable actually out of the box. I'm I'm feeling a little bit, again, a little bit of tightness on that outside, but I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue as I break it in. Most boots for me feel like that on the midfoot on the outside, so that's just something to keep in mind. Passing a ball is really nice, actually. I really like that seamless sensation of... Super nice, really, really nice. No distractions on that inside. Um, the only thing that does, this doesn't have is any sort of grip elements. It's not gonna be very grippy on the ball, but it is gonna give you that really seamless leather feel, even in that fusion skin midfoot area. So everything in, again, this midfoot is all a synthetic material, but it does do a pretty good job of giving you a nice leather-like feel with the stretch. We'll see over time, obviously, as that happens. Stay tuned for the one month review of these. Um, but overall, I think, the Copa Sense Plus is a really nice pair of football boots. If you're into leather football boots and you want something that's a little higher tech, uh, it's laceless, you pair uh, some grip socks with these and I think they'd actually be totally fine. I know you've got a couple really high level players like Pedri wearing these full time. That, he's like the spokesperson for these now. Um, and obviously he's getting a custom fit version, but the concept remains the same. It's still a laceless leather football boot. I, I struggle to say leather football boot because it's only the forefoot that is, but these are really nice and they fit me pretty well. I'm really excited to see when the midfoot breaks in a little bit more, if they are getting on and off. I don't need that part to be really easy, but I would like when my foot slips in there that it really wraps my foot super tight, which it is now, but it's almost like too tight, you know what I'm saying? So prior to breaking in, which is really nice. I'd say uh, total rating for these, at least in the initial impressions is a seven out of 10. So pretty good, pretty high on the list. I do think um, the uniqueness of it, the colorway, definitely add to that seven out of 10. I think without this color, I think it'd be probably like a six or a 6.5 out of 10. So just a little bit higher rating because of that colorway, because of the meaning behind some of it. I think it's really, really cool. And I think they look excellent on feet, especially with an all black kit. So if you guys have any more questions about the Copa Sense Plus, if you guys want me to review some of the other World Cup pack colorways, definitely leave it down in the comments section below. Like the video if you got value from it. If you want more content on laceless boots uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always guys, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.